Lead trainer Tim Bowen back with you. Just going to go over another quick tip in Stocks of Trade based around our core functionality of the new screener. So I've gone over the low float news screener before, but something that um, I often do, or actually I always turn on and recommend everybody do, especially if you're dealing with momentum stocks and stocks around catalysts, is one of the great things is we have news on the chart, okay? Built-in news events appear on the chart real time, so slick. But something that I always do, much like float, is on all of the scans and watch lists, um, we go to the title bar, right click, Add new column, basics, and news. So what's nice about that, a stock like NVCN today, I mean, we first had news at, what was it, 7 a.m.-ish, and, you know, that moved this stock. So what's nice is I can see that, for instance, the percentage gainers, a ticker that I'm familiar with, there's news events, um, it's moving, it's got volume. I can then, if, if it comes up in that scan, I can double-click it, got my total view, with news on the chart, level two, everything in one spot. The nice thing is every screener, every scan, everywhere, we can turn that on. If you're running a scan for percentage gainers uh, versus just the top percentage gainer scan, you can right click, again, add new column, basics, news, I've got it there. Um, whether or not there's current or recent news or SEC filings. Same with the high a day list. I always have it running on the high a day list. That way, stocks that are making new highs that we talked about in one of the other tips, I can see if there's news. So then it basically confirms my bias. If say I'm looking to potentially buy this breakout, if there's news, it's hitting the high of the day, fits my parameters, I get much uh, a lot more conviction. Then the nice thing is my watch list. Okay, I could be watching stick stocks long or short, um, and I've always got that news column turned on. So maybe I'm looking to potentially trade these or maybe I'm already in the stock and I want to know, okay, if I'm, say I'm, as a situation, I'm short a stock and, you know, first thing I want to know if I'm riding this short, if there's news, positive or negative, I want to know right away. So the nice thing is I can have it in my watch list. So it's another nice little feature we built in that I, you know, you can, you can shut it off if you want less noise. I keep it on myself because I like seeing it in my scans, in my watch list, and on my chart. So thanks a lot, guys. We'll see you next time.